M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I've got my iPad here connected with my Raspberry Pi 5 and a Bofeng lead. So the Raspberry Pi is just running Raspbian, so its own operating system. There are no computers involved in this. It's just the Raspberry Pi, Bofeng lead, UVK6 in firmware mode. So you just turn it off, hold the PTT, turn it on, you need to see the white light. Sometimes it works better if you don't plug in the lead, but then you plug in your lead, connect it straight into your Raspberry Pi, and you download a program called Real VNC, which is here. Real VNC allows you to view what you would see if your Raspberry Pi was connected to your computer, to your screen. It's not even a computer screen, it's a monitor. Um, we haven't got the monitor connected. We could do that, but it's a lot easier just using this program. Then you go to the Exuma browser firmware upload. And I'll put the link in the description. But as soon as you put this link into, and you're using Chromium, which is the Chrome version of a browser on an iPad, it loaded the firmware instantly. Watch how quickly it flashes now to my UVK6. We just click flash, like so. When you click flash, let me just cancel that a minute and show that again. Click flash firmware. You get this window, just click USB serial. And then just here, it says connect. And once you hit connect, it starts to flash. So you can flash your UVK6 just using your iPad or Android phone, tablet, and it's that's it, it's ready to go now. And that's it, you now have the Exuma firmware, which as you know, is excellent. And for those that want to get the Spectrum, you just go F5, you'll get the Spectrum. You move the squelch line, which is a line here. That's why you, you wouldn't be able to hear much. We'll unplug the lead now. Hold the F and it will go down. And you're going to start hearing. And then to stop that, hold the scan and the line goes back up. That's like increasing the squelch. You only hear it when you let go of the button. If you want to type in 27 megahertz USB, just go five, two, seven, star, like so, and then M. And then we're on FM at the moment, but to change the mode, just press the zero button. See zero, AM. Now USB, you do, you do need a good antenna so you can hear those kind of bands, but it does work. And then if you press the PTT like this, you start to get some adjustments that you can make. So same frequency, but you've got these four adjustments. If you press the M, it scrolls along. And you can adjust these parameters, you know, to make things sound better. You see that the parameters are changing. IF that one is. Okay, and that's a handy tip. And then just exit if you want to go back to the normal radio. Just pushing the exit here. Back to the normal radio. Number three, hold down. VFO. Number three, hold down. Memory. Number two, A band, which is the top band and the B band. The bottom band. You see the arrow move from top to bottom. Number one. You hold it, you'll scroll through the different bands. Now if you want the secret menu, hold down this PTT and the one beneath, so the big PT and then this is the function button. Hold them down while turning on the radio and you'll get the secret menu. And your main menu is just, look, menu. And then just scrolling up and down. Choose the item, say you want to change your step in this situation. Just go press Menu again, change the parameter up or down, select menu again, you've selected it. 
in the F5 section, when we're not come out of the menu with the exit, you go F, then 5. You get in the scope, you can change the step with, I'm pretty sure it's number 6. Yeah, see the step changing there? So the step's changing there. And on the FM, on the 0, you're changing the mode. And look, you've got some, some uh, you know, signal there. It's great fun. It's a, it's a bit of a Christmas present for everyone, if you ask me the... You know, the, these firmware upgrades has, have transformed. I mean, it was a fun radio anyway, but once they started adding firmware. So that's it. So now you know you can upgrade your firmware. You, most hams have got a Raspberry Pi lying around. And I this is the Raspberry Pi 5. I've got my nice heat sink case on it. I haven't tried it with the Raspberry Pi 3B. Um, so, but with the 5, it's working. Thanks for watching my channel. 7.3, all the best.